to say my topic is e microwave. But before starting the topic, I just wanted to mention that Professor Walia is even such a nice talk that he, she has covered almost the chapter of antimicrobial resistance, putting uh, the treatment and then policy and everything. Now, at the end of her talk, I feel that the, uh, this, the, the, who does it serve? And then now, my part will be to just serve the salads before at the end of the penny. But I'll see if how much I can before everything has been covered. For my instance, is there a growing threat that all of us are immune? So, then, so today, uh, the contents of my talk will include introduction, definition, factors, control strategies, and benefits. So, resistance to antibiotics is now recognized as a public health threat of an unprecedented scale. So, resistance is responsible for millions of deaths worldwide and major health concern for the 21st century. And it, we are expecting about 10 million deaths annually by 2050. So, an AMR threatens the effective prevention and the treatment of an ever increasing range of infections caused by microbes. So, with this, the financial burden to the country and to the world is increased. See, the, on the side, I'm this are the but some of the Philippines published in the Times of India, where they have mentioned about the alarming statistics of antimicrobial resistance. So, how we see the antimicrobial resistance? What is it? The antimicrobial resistance is the ability of a microorganism to stop an antimicrobial from working against it. So, these are the factors. These are again environmental factors, prescriber related factors, person related factors, and uh, drug related factors. Environmental factors is uh, one of the most important factors. Huge population and overcrowding. And then, because of that, there is rapid spread. If there is any infection, the spread is very much rapid these days because of the better transport as we are seeing earlier in even in Manipur we we are not able to see dengue fever but now we are seeing dengue not because the mosquito is seen here but because the organisms are coming directly to affected individual state again poor sanitation increase in community acquire resistance in effective infection control program and in widespread use of antibiotic in animal husbandry, agriculture, and uh, as medicated cleansing products. Say all these livestock earlier, all we are naturally rare, and then there is no use of antibiotics. But nowadays, because of the rearing in the artificial uh, environment, and then antibiotics are used very often in the rearing all this animals, birds, and even foods. And so, the, when these products are being taken by us, the chance of, again, inducing resistance to ourselves is high. Then, this release of large quantities of antibiotics into the environment, luckily, we don't have this uh, menace in our state. So, this West managed banned by the pharmaceutical manufacturers is can be one of the factors for uh, antibiotic resistance. Drug related factors over the counter buying of the medicines. So the antimicrobials are easily assessed, is easily accessible to the patients. And so so there is lack of restriction, lack of 
uh, laws. And because of that, his chance of resistance is high. Self-treatment. They, it is very common for common infections to go to read to the Googles, for example, and then take the treatment. And uh, substandard drugs causing suboptimal drug blood concentrations. Suboptimal drugs, any of the drugs are not properly uh, are not properly uh, standardized. And so many a times patients are given substandard medicines because of that the blood concentration minimal B3 concentration of the medicine is not achieved by this uh, antibiotics and so the chance of having resistance is more. Irrational uh, fixed dose combination of antimicrobials then increasing use of antimicrobials. Increasing use when the antibiotics are not indicated for many reasons antibiotics are being used by the patients and so these are again another a factor for the antibiotic resistance, development of antibiotic resistance. Patient related factors, lack of education. It is one of the most important uh, factor in the causation of antibiotic resistance. By lack of education, patients will not have any idea how to take, when to take and then what is the importance of the medicine and then what are the dangers of not taking the medicine in, 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 in a proper way. And so there will be poor adherence to those regimen. Poverty is one when they will buy only a spawn in antibiotic, they will instead of buying 15 or 20 tablets, they are going to buy only two tablets. When the symptoms are better, they will stop. And then, uh, and then if here in India, especially, what happens, a prescription is being, you know, uh, like passed from patient to patient. And then these prescriptions are being used for one similar complaint. If a patient is having fever and then the other one in the neighbor will ask that patient, last time what you took, uh, then by what medicine you became all right. So the patient will show the prescription. Then he will copy that prescription and he will go to the uh, chemist and then buy the medicine and then he start using the medicine. Whether this medicine will be suitable for that disease which he is suffering uh, or, or not that you will not understand. This kind of rotation is very common uh, in India and also in Manipur. We see many patients you know, coming with that. The same prescription is being circulated for many months. And so self-medication, going to the counter, buying medicine, self, and then lack of syndication concept. So education of in all the fields, in every, every, uh, uh, every component is very important. Prescriber related factors. Over prescription of antimicrobials, this is especially common elements. Say, Many, many times, antibiotics are given in common goal. Say, one, when someone is suffering from just running nose, rhinorrhea, then patient will be given uh, antibiotics, azithromycin. Then sometimes, not only oral, then will be started with subjectual injection. This is a common, very common phenomenon, uh, common type of uh, treatment we see in many uh, many centers it may not be in the uh, big hospitals but especially in the centers sub centers community centers may not be by doctors or maybe by even by doctors when the training is less or maybe by the other health workers health supporters this type of giving antibiotics without any indication is common and the uh, patient's expectations. Sometimes the doctor feels that, okay, the patient has come with symptoms. And if I don't write antibiotics, what the patient will think? Or what, and if I don't write antibiotics, he or she may think 
thing and so maybe he will go to another doctor so i may take one antibiotic so guesses that sometimes doctors do satisfying patient's expectation not to react or not to give the proper prescription proper prescription to the patient increase empirical polymicrobial use so prospectum antibiotics using to cover okay if the patient is coming with fever then we give antibiotics to cover all the infections for typhoid then pneumonia and uh, if there is some pain problem maybe colitis so habit using empirical polymicrobial and t polymicrobial is very uh, common and so this is again one of the main causes for development of the anti antimicrobial resistance in adequate dosing as yes, i also as i have mentioned already uh, in adequate dosing and so so all those prescribers are required to have current knowledge and to update their knowledge and then they need continuous skill education and training so that they are update with the it with the changing uh, scenario of the texans the country or in the world or so this is a uh, a resistance which we are going to see this is the means predictions so this is what we are expecting from now to up to 2000 see we are expecting 100% resistance and then is uh, we also know that the number of new antibiotics are less and so there is no newer antibiotics now these are common resistance threats we are facing these days so all this action resistance has been you know, spoken earlier so this is a little bit of the resistance which we always uh, yeah and then comparing with the united that is up to 2010 and so uh, what are the strategies to contain antimicrobial resistance this is spoken in length by dr walia but i'll just cover a little bit of the uh, highlights so what we need now is judicious use of existing antimicrobial agents existing because we are not having many and then we are not expecting to have anything or so that is what is most important that is antimicrobial you are say it is a set of commitments and activities designed to optimize the treatment of infection while reducing the adverse events associated with antibiotic use so these are again has been set properly for septim and so all in the hospital all in the community they have a role in preventing antibiotic so starting from the administration infectious specialist and then clinical pharmacist here Uh, they have not mentioned about the family the family also not the one who are working in the hospital or not the one who are working in the center sub centers but the family itself it has a major role in preventing the antimicrobial resistance for hand wash proper sanitation then uh, then proper oh, sorry so proper sanitation then to give the medicines time to give the medicine in full course in those patients who are not admitted in the hospital so the family has got a major uh, role so everyone in the community has got a role in the prevention of antimicrobial resistance this one has been spoken in land and so uh, So to uh, conclude, I said 
Antimicrobial resistance is a serious global threat. Not all infections need antibiotic treatment. Narrow spectrum agents should be used whenever possible. Broad spectrum agents should not be used as a cover for lack of diagnostic precision. Antibiotics should be prescribed in optimal doses. Resins should be stopped when the infection is treated. And clinicians should be familiar with local antibiotics. Thank you.